there's one goal I set from the beginning of this project. It's to have it's to have no compromise on corn yield, but still have cover crops that will survive and, and have more options. We were thinking about adding a little bit to our planter capacity. So when I started down this road, I thought maybe this is the opportunity to make one or get one that I think would work the best for, for uh, wide space corn. And I went down the road of pair row or twin row corn, thinking that spacing out that high population a little bit might get me closer to achieving normal yields, where I can vary the row spacing, the pair row spacing, from eight inches down to single row. And then I'm gonna test that. And based on multiple years of testing that is where I'll settle in on eventually. We started talking two and a half years ago on, the, on what kind of cover crop would you put in this mix. Primarily, I did a cool season mix. So far, I'm, I'm happy with it, but I'm always looking for the next one I can add to. I have very little experience with harvesting two rows of corn that has to go into one row unit on a header. I hear other farmers talk about and be frustrating if you want to go very fast, that you have to slow down significantly. So I'm going to find out, but since my planter had the capability of planting at various pair row width, if there isn't a significant yield difference, let's say between eight and four, I know the four will harvest quite easily. At least I'm anticipating it will. But that eight inch, I'm, I'm concerned about that because that has to pull those socks in four inches from either direction. And with much speed, there could be years flying all over the place. I guess it'll depend on harvest ease versus yield, and then make that decision after harvest.